One of the most important aspects of manufacturing is quality assurance. And uh, the next step that we're going to be doing is this is a fully assembled F112 Gloss International. So this is a 240 volt version. And what Curtis is ready to do, he is going to perform a dielectric test using a AC high pot tester. And basically we're going to go ahead and check the insulation of all the components to make sure that there's no breakdown and that at any given time the heat, heat sink is not going to become hot. Uh, so what he is going to do, he is going to inject 2500 volts on this unit. Okay. Clear. Clear. For about 10 seconds. And in the event that there's a short, then what's going to happen is that it, it'll beep and it'll stop the test. Once uh, this test is done, then now it gives us the authority to be able to go ahead and put a UL label on back of the unit uh, so that now it uh, basically a person at home uh, will never get shocked. The last part of the assembly is final testing. So we perform 100% final testing on each of the products. Uh, Clarissa will go ahead and put a, a baffle with a, a microphone so that now we are, have the ability to do an actual uh, functional test. She's gonna go ahead and scan the serial number so that we have full traceability of each of the products. She just went ahead and put on the unit, and now she's going to go ahead and uh, uh, have the settings in the proper way for the first test, which will be the uh, XLR frequency response. Now she's going to go to the second test. She will go ahead and adjust uh, the filters, make sure that uh, the filters are working properly, as well as the phase of polarity. The third test, she will now go ahead and, um, and put it on slave mode to ensure that the slave portion of it is working. And that's in case a person has two fathoms, then one will be the master and the other one will be set to the slave. As you can see, the, uh, the unit passed. Uh, the, the green basically is the actual curve itself and the reds are the lower limit and the high limit. The next part of the process is to uh, calibrate the unit. So she's going to go ahead and perform a calibration on the ARO, which is the automatic room optimization. And the whole idea behind this is that now this uh, unit can be placed in any family room or any uh, area. And once you run a calibration on it, uh, the unit will go ahead and calibrate to the acoustics of the room. What we have here is a 10W6 uh, inside this chamber. What we're going to do is perform a motor assembly push apart test. And what we're doing is we're checking the integrity of the adhesives to ensure that the uh, magnet is not going to come apart at, at any given time. Uh, so what he's going to do, Hector is going to go ahead and push down on the valve, push down the cylinder. Okay, is we're looking at for the substrate material to basically break apart. In, in other words, the magnet itself versus the adhesive. So the integrity of the adhesive uh, it's, is working the way that it's supposed to. Okay, it was 14,000 pounds of force to push that one apart. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, what happened. And as you can see, what shattered was the magnet itself. Oh, it's not the adhesive. Not the, the adhesive. actual magnet. So we now know that the adhesive did not fail. The what? adhesive is stronger than the magnet. Exactly. Wow. Wow. Okay. On a daily basis, we'll go ahead and push apart uh, two motors to ensure that the assembly of the motor uh, and the adhesive itself is uh, was working properly. And this is the, this is the end result. 